I've never, I'm not going to lie, I've never seen this format with like a preacher and a singer. Um, I apologize if this happens like all the time and I'm just ignorant to it. I kind of like it though. Like, I don't know. It's, it's different. It's weird. Ordinarily, I would be not very happy with someone talking over such a fabulous singer, but it works. Excuse me. That chocolate is getting to me. But I need you to just say it one more time. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. So that grindy tone is really, really hard to achieve. So that's vocal frying. Um, usually it's done on the low end. And that's how like a lot of metal screamers will, will do that. Like... Like, you know, they'll they'll start to build that up aggressively. But um, when you go up this high and you vocal fry, you get that little sizzly sound. But it's really dangerous. It's really hard to do well. Um, because when you get a fry, this is what's happened to your folds. They're just whacking together like that. That's what makes the, that, that vibrating sound. Up. What happens when you go higher up is your folds stretch out and they get thinner. And they're hitting each other faster. And uh, was that I forget what the formula is, but like speed equals force in a lot of instances, right? So if they're coming together faster, they're hitting with a lot more force, right? And they're hitting faster. So there's more, and it's harder hitting. So vocal frying as you go up is really, really, really risky business. But what she's doing is that she's she's singing very gently, very quietly. And she's not going to fry very often. And that's how she's going to manage it. Do not try this until you can comfortably sustain a pitch without any tension on any vowel on that pitch. And you can do it softly as like as you would sing to a baby. Like that much soft this and that much control. Then you can try this. It's really, really dangerous. Not for her because she's amazing. She knows exactly what she's doing. But, but you know, let's be humble uh and say okay we're gonna try this once i'm one percent as good as leandra that you see how she's like actually really quiet behind that uh -huh. say it again. Hold up. <sighs> i'm really jealous of this man because like to have this like brilliance of, of a choir and the, uh, like great talents in the choir and also to have leandra johnson like I don't get, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not particularly religious, if I'm being honest, so I don't generally get excited about, like, stuff, but, like, I get really excited about tacos sometimes, and, like, sometimes, like, I just have a really good taco, and it would be nice to be, like, singer, tell me about this pico de gallo, you know, like, this, this really helps deliver a point, and obviously it's probably better to do this than talk about pico de gallo in a really enth enthusiastic singing voice, but, you know, teach their own. Ooh, super chills man ah oh, this reminds me of the one performance when i was in philly we had we had um we were, we were the temple choirs were doing a performance and we had um a gospel group come in that like the orchestra was hired the philly orchestra and after we got done singing they went on and it was epic yeah these these performers they sang gospel music and they just completely crushed us like everything about what the temple choirs just did was like stupid and inconsequential and the like the energy that they brought reminds me exactly of this performance um like the the energy that i just saw and just watched where i'm like chills and i'm like just like oh like oh man it is so hard to recreate that specialness and that epicness and that conviction of everybody in this performance that is just incredible this is a treasure is there more i want more yeah! 
That's not, you know, like I, I, I did say that I'm not particularly religious, but like, if I had that in church growing up, I, ugh, I would have never left. That is like healing. And I love the message in general of like, don't be bad to yourself. Don't get, don't get in the way of yourself. Don't overthink it. Like, I was so afraid to quit my job to start doing YouTube full time. And last night was just this battle to not overthink it and to just do it and have fun and, and just do the quest and be humble about it. And let me tell you, like, I'm going to bed to this like every night so that I can, I can get out of my own way. This is amazing. This is like, you know, it's interesting because I never really thought of it this way, but this is a service, right? Is it, is it, is it, it is a service that is being held, a religious service. And I never really made the connection that a service is to serve. And I've been served. This is really incredible and amazing and wow.